Notice there is no one-size-fits-all method for how to handle your life. You should always consult with a trained, licensed professional appropriate to the decision you need to make. Medical, legal, financial, nutritional, religious, or other professionals should be consulted before making a life-altering decision. Use information from this course at your own risk. Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to How to Manage Your Monkey, Manny Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and today we're going to discuss do the math. But first, a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for all of our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all those uh, people we come in contact with via the blogs and the YouTube channels. Thank you for all the authors and publicists, um, all the publishers, all the manufacturers, uh, manufacturer representatives, and uh, people involved with uh, different products that we've met via the reviews. Thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Please be with all of these people. Please watch over us all, guide us all, direct us all, and keep us safe from all harm. And bless us all. It's in Christ, most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, let me uh, tell you, first we are going to talk about do the math. And uh, I want to give a shout out to our uh, someone here in just a minute. But before we get into that shout out, let me tell you, you probably noticed some subtle differences here in the studio. Um, Hurricane Harvey hit and we had some minor alterations to our studio because of Hurricane Harvey and because of the resulting floods, but nothing terrible. And uh, quite frankly, we did very well. The only damage we had was our, our mailbox, which uh, had been previously damaged, and uh, the brakes on our car. But uh, other than that, there were just some minor, minor little things. But uh, we were fortunate. In uh, our area, only five houses kept power. We were one of those five. Our neighborhood was uh, one of the only ones in the whole entire county, or at least this part of the county, that wasn't flooded. And uh, we actually sit lower than other parts of the town, but it's kind of like in a bowl, and we were fine. Anyway, uh, so God is good. He blessed us. We have prayed that he placed his hand of protection over us, and quite frankly, that's exactly what he did. Um, his hand protected us. It kept everything completely away from here. We were able to sit outside in the breezeway and watch the, uh, the storm, and uh, it didn't get terrible right here. It did other places. Signs were down and that sort of thing. Um, buildings were damaged. But we're okay. Just wanted to throw that out there because this is the first series of videos we're doing since Hurricane Harvey. Well, today we're going to give a shout out to uh, a gentleman that's become a friend. Um, we've never met him, but uh, he's become a friend. His name is Al Zinnick. He's an author, a best-selling author. And uh, Forbes Books has contacted him and asked to relaunch his uh, best-selling book, Master Your Cash Flow. Now, we did a review of this book a while back before Forbes uh, did the relaunch, and uh, we were very impressed. As a matter of fact, Al is one of our favorite authors, and that's how we became friends, is because he writes such good articles, and uh, his book is amazing. We don't always uh, agree with him, but you know he primarily is geared toward the uh, high net worth individuals. And we're the beans and rice individuals. And the thing about it is we're striving to get to where we need someone like Al, and of course it will be Al, uh, to manage our uh, finances. We want to get to that point where we just have more money than we know what to do with, so we have to have somebody handle it. And quite frankly, that's a possibility. Right now, you know, we have to uh, stretch out beans and rice to, to get by. Right now, we really have to uh, watch what we spend very closely. Uh, Al has the, the book Master Your Cash Flow that talks about all of that and uh, he just does a wonderful job in the book. We really uh, think that you should uh, read that book. But let's go ahead and get into um, our topic today which is do the math. And this is one of the things, the reason we're doing the shout out is because that's one of the things that Al talks about is doing the math before you make any financial decision. Another thing that he tells you to do, which is we always tell you to do as well, is consult qualified professionals before you make any life-altering decisions. The reason being is because sometimes we look at things completely different when we're looking at it, uh, our own stuff. I've had uh, financial managers tell me that uh, 
they always consult another um, financial manager before they make any personal financial decisions just because it's always good to have a second set of eyes someone looking at it that they'll be looking at a completely different point of view but doing the math is always important if you go to buy a new car obviously you need to sit down and do the math what is it going to cost me if i finance it this way how's it going to cost me if uh, i pay cash we if such a thing is possible um then uh how is this going to affect what I could be doing? Could I take the money that I would be um, paying cash for this car with, take out a uh, loan on the car, pay it off in two, three, four, five years, and uh, actually take the money that I would have been paying to pay cash for the car and invest it and make, is it possible to make more money out of this than uh, otherwise? And uh, that's especially true of mortgages, that you want to do the math if... Uh, you're looking at the idea of, well, I've got the cash right now to buy this house, or I got the cash to pay off my mortgage, then uh, to decide whether you should do that or not. And that's one of the eye-opening things that we read in uh, Al's book. And we thought, well, you know, we like that peace of mind. If uh, we had a mortgage, we'd like the peace of mind of being able to pay it off. But peace of mind aside, is it financially the best move? Um, if I've got a mortgage that's uh, costing me, say, 5% and the, um, in interest, should I pay it off or should I take that money that I could pay it off with and invest it in something that may bring me back a, a higher interest rate, 6%, 7%, whatever. Could I invest that and make more money and then take the uh, uh, interest as an expense off my taxes? Well, that's something you need to do the math on. Um, and here at uh, How to Manage Your Monkey, we even talk about doing the math. You go to the grocery store. You look, okay, is the store brand with this coupon uh, cheaper than, or excuse me, is the name brand with this coupon cheaper than the store brand? And quite often you'll find, even though you got this great coupon, that uh, no, the store brand is still cheaper. We find that all the time. And then we also have found that from time to time, uh, one point we went to a Walmart and we looked at the uh, store brand Cheerios or store brand uh, Oat O's uh, and compared it to the name brand Cheerios ounce for ounce the name brand Cheerios were cheaper by a reasonable margin so you need to actually do the math when you go to the store and later uh, other times you might want to decide okay can I go ahead and get this pumpkin spice latte. Now I've never had a pumpkin spice latte so that's uh, you know something that I'm not familiar with. I don't even know if you can buy one in this little town that we're in. But anyway, uh, should I buy this pumpkin spice latte or should I bring me a thermos of coffee from home every morning and take the money that I would be spending, a uh, difference that I would be spending on the pumpkin spice latte and use that to pay down debt or use that to save money to invest. And those are things that you need to do the math on. And the bottom line on that is, is the feeling that you get from the pumpkin spice latte better than the feeling you will get by having the money when it comes to your retirement years? Again, there isn't just a financial situation there. There isn't just a financial attribute to this. It's also that, that security feeling. How do you feel inside? You know, me personally, uh, I couldn't go out and buy a $100,000 home and uh, not worry every time I turned around about paying the mortgage. Now, there's other people that go out and buy, you know, multi-million dollar homes and they sleep well at night. Well, I've, you know, been evicted enough times and uh, had cars repossessed enough times to realize, you know, hey, it's a, a bit of a concern every time you turn around. But do the math and then do do the um, thinking about it. And before you do the math, before you think about it, of course you always need to bring it to the Lord in prayer. Anything you do, bring it to the Lord in prayer. And uh, wait on the Lord. He'll, uh, he'll reveal to you what it is you should do. Now, we, before we make any financial decision, we generally bring it to the Lord and ask Him, is this what you want us to do? Is this the right way to spend this money? Is this uh, the best use of this money and quite frankly he always answers us sometimes he answers us by giving us an alternative to spending the money 
Sometimes he answers us by sending more money, and sometimes he answers us by not answering in a way, which is telling us just wait. And just wait is quite often the, the best thing to do. If you have any questions or comments, or if you'd like to uh, tell us uh, some ideas that you've had, please drop us an email at gindysvideos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. Like us if you would, and please subscribe to this channel if you would. And we thank you. Thank you. Notice that there is no one-size-fits-all financial, nutritional, lifestyle plan that will be right for everyone or every situation. Always consult qualified professionals before making any life-changing decisions. This information is to be used for education only. Use this information at your own risk. Wow, Giddy, Forbes is going to publish his book again? Yeah, Forbes is going to publish his book again. Wow, that's my Uncle Al, and, 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 and he's, he's a really good writer. I never met him, but he's, he's a really good writer. Gindy read me his book, and Gindy told his daughter to go out and buy the book. And I think she did, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, we think that you should read Al's book and wait for the new books that will be coming out and really learn a lot about finances. Listen, if you'd like to see more of me at the end of these videos, <laughs> please drop me an email over at seymourhamlet at gmail.com. This letter C, period, M-O-O-R-E, period, H-A-M-L-E-T, at gmail.com. I also got one of them twipper things. Uh, that's that thing with the bird. Anyway, my handle should be up there somewhere. I don't know how it gets there, but I think maybe the bird brings it. Who knows? Anyway, but it's supposed to be up there somewhere if technical support does what they're supposed to do. And he's technical support most of the time. And you know, never know what will happen with him. Anyway, it's uh, that funny looking at sign and then a capital C underscore capital M-O-O-R-E underscore capital H-A-M-L-E-T. And please drop me a twop and let me know how much you like me. Thank you. Bye! This video made possible by Manian Double Productions.